What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo from Pitchfork Academy here and in this Unreal Engine 5.6 tutorial I'm going to show you how to use 5.6's first person rendering to make a sort of floating HUD such as you've got in The Division that sort of follows your character around and sits in front of any geometry that you might come close to. So this might look like it is just a widget in screen space but it is actually in world space and it is next to my character but it still renders in front of any geometry that you move over to or near like so now i'm not going to be showing you how to sort of make the widget move around or connect any of the data in that widget to any variables or anything like that i'm just going to give you this quick video that shows you how to use the first person rendering to render a heads up display such as this one in world space that won't clip through any geometry. So without further ado, let me show you how to do this. Alrighty guys, so I'm here in my third person project and all I've done is I've imported this font called Future Earth from defont.com for use in my widget and I've created this widget. Uh, none of these elements are actually hooked up to anything. I just basically wanted to create the look of uh, the sort of floating HUD from the division. And the only other thing I want to mention about this is that I wanted to put some background blur on this section here, uh, but it doesn't work with the sort of translucency method of the widget in the third person character. Uh, it kind of blurs when you look around really, really badly. Um, so I wasn't able to get this to work with the background blur. Uh, but you might be able to achieve that with some sort of material based approach. I'm not going to go into that in this quick video. I'm just going to show you how to sort of uh, display a widget as a floating HUD and make it, you know, sit in front of any geometry using the first person rendering method from Unreal Engine 5.6. So I'm going to now open up my BP third person character. I'll head to the viewport. And I'm actually going to parent this to the camera boom so that it just follows the camera around. And then you would be able to sort of change the relative position of this widget. For example, when you ADS and you zoom in and get a, you know, a tighter FOV, you might want to shift the widget in or something like that. Uh, but I'm just going to attach this to the camera boom. So I'm going to select the camera boom, hit add and find a widget, add a widget. And then this widget is going to be the class right here, W underscore FP, which is my widget. And I'm basically just going to position this uh, to the right of the character, like so. And I'll scale this down. I might turn off snapping and just scale this down so it's about the size that I would like, position it where I like. And another feature you can use here, which is really nice, is this geometry mode of the widget here. You can actually change this to a cylinder, and then you can change the uh, arc angle of the cylinder right here. So if you were to change this to something like, um, let's say, 40 degrees or 50 degrees, you'll get this nice curve effect on your widget, which is, uh, you know, a nice sort of heads-up display effect that you can get quite easily. Um, but then you will just need to sort of play around with the angle and the positioning of this widget so that it looks nice from the perspective of your third person camera. And we can kind of test this out as is and hit play now. You'll see that we do have our floating widget, uh, but it is casting shadows is one thing. And also if it goes anywhere near any geometry, it's just going to clip straight through the wall like so, which doesn't look great. Um, so I'm just going to fiddle with the size of this widget a little bit more. Bring it in and maybe scale it down a little bit vertically. And that's about what I'm going for. Okay, so to stop this from clipping through geometry, we can use 5.6's new first person rendering tool. So we can select the camera here. And if we search for first, you'll find this enable first person scale. You want to check this 
and you'll see that this has enabled this first person scale option right here. Now for this to work, this has to be a very, very small number. If this is 0.1, it still kind of clips through some geometry uh, when you get very close to walls. So I found that 0.05 is the amount uh, that works really well for a widget such as this one. And now with first still in the search bar here, we can select the widget and then we just have to change first person primitive type to first person to sort of flag it as a first person object. And that is literally all you need to do. You'll see that that widget is no longer casting a shadow. And if we go over to some geometry, it doesn't clip through. It just stays up there like you would expect a HUD to do. You could go ahead and add sort of, um, you know, rotation on the HUD when you turn and a little bit of movement to make it, you know, a bit more organic, like it is a real world heads up display. Um, but once again, this quick video is just to show you how to make sure that that renders in front of geometry like so using 5.6's first person rendering. If this video has been of any use or value to you whatsoever, please hit like and subscribe and I will. See you on the next one.